Welcome back to another Dentistry Basics video. My name is Haley, if you're new here and I'm a third year dental student at Michigan, I have been sharing my experiences of getting into and getting through dental school for over four years now. So there's a lot of good information on this channel, but today's video is going to be all about the classes that you take in dental school. Hopefully this can help you better choose what classes you wanna pursue as an undergrad or different ways you can expect to be challenged once you enter dental school. This is also really useful if you're trying to compare different health professions, medical, pharmacy, PA, and dentistry. Because honestly, I was surprised to see how similar parts of my first and second year of dental school were to my friends that are in medical programs. So what do they teach us in dental school? First thing you start off with is dental anatomy and occlusion. You're also going to be going through all of the body systems and this is where I felt like my curriculum and my studying was really similar to my friends in medical school or maybe PA or pharmacy programs. We went through all of the body systems, GI, GU, respiratory, cardio, nervous system, musculoskeletal system, and we also do head and neck anatomy in dental school and some schools actually do full body anatomy and that is gross anatomy, it's a dissection component. So you're really learning all the ins and outs of the body and then specifically circling back to how that really relates to your patient's oral health. A few other key components of our education as dental students is pharmacology, all the different medications that our patients may be taking, how they relate to our work as dentists working in the oral cavity, the head and neck area, but also how we can understand ways that these patients may possibly need a medication that they're not on and recognize when we need to make medical referrals. We also learn about nutrition in dental school as well as handling medical emergencies. And as you progress through your first and second year of dental school, classes become more and more dental specific we learn about the developmental biology of our teeth how they grow as we age how they are so strong and how they can be weakened by different habits which leads really nicely into a course that we have multiple times in dental school called cariology which is essentially the science of dental caries or cavities another key component of dental school education is of course clinical diagnosis so we learn how to look in the mouth and diagnose cavities or caries and also how to diagnose them on radiographs which are the dental x-rays so we learn what is healthy and typical versus what is a cause for concern or needs treatment when it comes to your hard tissues so your teeth your bones and your soft tissues so your gums your cheeks your lips so what decay looks like what periodontitis looks like how you stage grade diagnose and then treat all of those conditions what are benign lesions or potentially malignant lesions look like again clinically when we're looking in the mouth and what they look like on radiographs and of course from all of this clinical knowledge we need to know how to treat these different disease conditions we have multiple dental material classes where we learn about different dental materials the physics and chemistry of how they work and evidence-based studies of how the different materials and techniques that have been used and are still being used compare to each other and the best times to use them. And this is when dental school got more fun for me personally, was once we started learning about all the different dental specialties and our classes were more dental focused. So we have classes in endodontics, prosthodontics, periodontics, oral facial pain, oral medicine, hospital dentistry, special care dentistry, implants and oral surgery, orthodontics, pediatrics, and we also take psychology classes or behavioral science classes throughout many years of dental school as well because there is a lot of important information that can be communicated well with patients or done very poorly and I think that's a big reason that a lot of patients have dental trauma, dental fear, dental anxiety. So we learn how to deal with that, work through that with patients. We also learn ways to recognize signs of abuse, signs of eating disorders, having difficult conversations about oral cancer, HPV, infections, vaccinations, patients needing full mouth rehabilitation, access to care problems, recognizing addiction, knowing when to make referrals and how to have those conversations with people, and smoking cessation is another really important topic that we learn and practice many times in dental school. Another thing that's taught in dental school but unfortunately breezed through very often by us students because we're so busy studying for all of our other challenging classes is professionalism and practice or practice management and those are different skills for working in a team, working as an associate, being a practice owner, managing finances, things like that. 
So that kind of broadly covers the classes we take, but I wanted to quickly touch on the labs and clinical component because that is a large part of your dental training because dentistry is such a hands-on career. So our labs, simulation lab, pre-clinic experience involves working mostly on fake teeth and sometimes extracted real teeth, and you learn how to drill and fill all different kinds of cavities in the mouth and filling with both amalgam and composite materials as well as doing crown and bridge, partial dentures, complete dentures, simulated root canals, and simulated dental implants. And then the other component is working on our classmates. So we practice our anesthesia injections, full exams, treatment plans, orthodontic records, clinical photos, TMJ assessments, diagnostic models, and practice our prophys, prophylaxis, which is a dental cleaning. So once you're done with your first two years of classes in most programs, as well as your pre-clinic requirements, you enter into the real patient clinic, and the last two years you have have more classes but also you're treating your own patient family so the patient pool that you were given is essentially the different types of procedures that you will be doing and you're graded on those for overall credits that you complete as well as different tested procedures or competencies test cases they're called different things at different programs and then you also have mock boards at most schools that help prepare you for your clinical dental boards and then the other thing is rotations through different specialty clinics pretty much all those specialty classes that i mentioned that we take you do rotations through these specialties hospital dentistry oral surgery endodontics orthodontics periodontics prosthodontics and that's going to vary from school to school what different programs they offer and how your rotations will look and your knowledge and skills of all the different stuff that we talked about is tested on the dental boards examination that you take during your fourth year of dental school and you need to pass multiple series of different types of exams in order to pass and obtain your dental license and that is going to be the topic for the next dentistry basics video so be sure to give this one a thumbs up if you want to see that video and let me know any questions that you have in the comments below and if you have a more personal question you're always welcome to message me on instagram it's at Haley Schultz Dental thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one